Hey! So what have you been doing since you've been locked in the house these past couple of months? Well, I'm going to tell you what I've been doing. I'm CLM2 for Style with Power, the channel that helps empower men through style. Okay! okay. Hey, happy Memorial Day and happy first day of summer, or as they say, the official first day of summer. I hope everything is well. I hope you guys are all safe out there and you're following instructions as uh, the world starts to open up, as the United States starts to open up. And I hope that your town and where you are right now is beginning to open up and ease their restrictions as it's time for you to get out there. So listen, if you're into videos, that talks about style, that talks about fashion, that talks about empowerment, and that talks about mindset, well, you know what? This is the channel for you. So what I need for you to do, help me out, go down, hit that subscribe button, and hit the little notification bell so you'll know every time we upload a video. Well, I know it's been crazy. We've been locked in the house for these couple of months. You know, I've been working remotely from home and, uh, you know, it gets kind of cramped in here. But what I've always done all my life is made sure that my home is very, very comfortable where I wouldn't have a problem staying in it. And you know what? It has paid off because I, um, who would ever think that you would be stuck at home and some people out there just don't like to be stuck at home. They don't, they don't enjoy their home. Well, I'm the complete opposite. I love my home. I always made sure that I kept my place very, very comfortable just in case I didn't want to go out and I could be at home and I could be very, very comfortable. So what I'm going to do today is show you a little bit about what I've been doing since I've been home. Uh, many of you know that um, I'm into higher education. I've been in higher education administrator for 20 years. I can't believe it. it's been over 20 years. I think I started in higher education in 1998. So um, yeah, it's been about 22 years I've been working in higher education in different capacities. Uh, so my latest job in higher education is I'm a director of a young men's group male group as they say and that's why I kind of created this channel I created this channel because I know that uh, my young men out there are, are, are struggling to find their identity and of course we all know what's going on out here in these United States they really don't care about uh, the people who look like us and, uh, and it's my job and it's my duty to just inform people that look like us that hey we have a lot to live for and we have a lot to strive for and that we can be successful out there so that's what I've dedicated my life to over uh, over over my lifetime but uh, I've actually you know have a job that I've been doing for the last 20 years you know, mentoring young young men I have a mentoring program and because of that job I've, be, I've become kind of an expert in the mentoring of young men and um, every now and then I get a call and someone asked me to be a part of a panel and this past week, I was just a part of a panel um, on mental health. Now, I'm not a mental health expert, but being an individual who's worked in higher education and worked with young people for so long, um, they just wanted my input. And especially coming from the male perspective, uh, it was an amazing, amazing panel. We were on uh, Facebook Live and also on Zoom. And uh, it's it was, uh, it was done by a young lady by the name of of Kimon and uh, Kimon is the executive director of an organization called The Amazing Help and they focus on helping young people with um, with mental health. They want to make sure that our young people are, are getting through life and getting the resources that they need. So she had an amazing amount of panelists on the show, uh, the people from all walks of life within the mental health game and they did an amazing job and you can probably find that um, either on their website or you can find it on Facebook uh, you should be able to find that it's called the amazing help uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a link to their website in the description and you should be able to find that um, that panel discussions well, you know, um, it is Memorial Day and some of you are out there, you're barbecuing and you're out there having fun, uh, 
uh, and let's make sure we follow the guidelines, social distancing. If you're out there barbecuing, let's not have a big crowd. You should not be at any big gatherings, any big parties, anything like that. You know, you can barbecue in your backyard, barbecue with your family members, but let's not have a big crowd. Just want to say that social distancing, you know, we're not past this pandemic yet, and we still don't have a vaccine. So we want to make sure that we're doing the right things. But, um, you know, what I wanted to do is I wanted to let some of you know about some of the things that I do when um, I'm not out there in the world. What do I do? What makes my my home so comfortable? So right now I'm in my home office. Um, you've seen this office before. I videotape a lot of my segments right here in this office. And just before the pandemic hit, I actually had shifted and started videotaping outside of my home. But now that the pandemic has hit, I'm back here. And you know it's just really, really enjoyable. So some of the things that I like to do is, some of you may know, I was into the music game for a long period of time. So I got to the music game early on. Um, I started off by DJing. I started DJing when I was in high school, way back when uh, I was about 14. And by the time I got to college, um, I just kept I just kept going. And I wanted to learn about how to do live music, how to be a producer of, uh, of uh, musical tracks. And I started learning way back and I started a company way back in 1980. Um, I started a company called Dressed in Black. And um, I, stuck, I, I created some nice tunes. So um, got out of the game around 1995. So I did it for about 15 years. I learned the craft. I did it for about 15 years. It was a nice hobby for me. I really, really enjoyed myself. And then about three years ago, um, you know, I got back into the music game. And some of you may have seen me advertise right here on this show of a young artist that I was I was pushing, I was producing. Uh, he's a great young man, outstanding singer. But um, I was just managing him, and I was trying to promote him as much as I can. His name is Adam the Next. You can go back and look at some of our old videos. You can see some stuff from Adam, or you can actually find Adam on his own channel. All the social media outlets, he goes by the name of Adam the Next. So fantastic talent, and you're going to be hearing a lot. From from this young man but it sparked my interest and I wanted to get back into the music game so went out and I got some musical equipment or I got some equipment that I could use on my computer and uh, as you can see one of the things here on my desk is my MIDI keyboard and um, you'll see this keyboard uh, used by a lot of individuals in the industry it's a very very compact keyboard but it's really really nice keyboard and uh, I'm starting to learn how to use this again and getting back into the music game so I'm producing some tracks and and uh, you'll hear one of my tracks underneath underneath on my shows you'll hear some music underneath on my shows uh, just lately I've been, been putting my own music on my shows I was using other people's music but the ones that you're hearing right now is actually something that I produce uh, for my show so I'm getting back into that so that's one of the things I've been doing, and now that I have this time at home, I'm going to really brush up and I'm going to get good at, at doing production again. So you will be hearing some stuff from me in the future. Now, one of the other things I just I just mentioned is that I used to be a DJ. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't used to be a DJ. I'm still a DJ. And uh, here's some pictures of me DJing. You can kind of take a look at those pictures. And as you can see, right behind me here, I have my DJ equipment. So it's right here. And every now and then I get into my tracks and I get into my DJing. And every now and then I have people who call me up and they hire me or family members want me to come and they want me to play music for them. Uh, that's some of the things that I've been doing at home. You know, besides, you know, looking at what's going on in the fashion world and and what's going to be coming out for this summer and what's going to be coming out for next fall. So what I've decided to do is go out and get some, some videos of what people are doing while they're locked up because of the pandemic in the whole fashion world. So I'm going to show a couple of those videos and then we'll be right back. So the first item we have is this crew neck tee right here, short sleeve with a screen print that says, pray for me. Uh, I thought this was real dope, unique. Um, plus pray for me. I mean, it's it's a good thing, positive. All right, so I'm gonna try this shirt on just to show you guys the fit. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna try on this shirt, let you guys know how it fits. Jesus. 
bro. You be with the magician type stuff. I don't even know how you did that, but turn around. <laughs> Turn around and show them the back. All right, so how you like the fit? I actually like the fit. I actually like how it, uh, you know, how it comes up right here in the middle. I usually like the hem a little bit better, but with the graphic being on this shirt and what it says, definitely dope. All right, so, all right, you guys, you can pick up this shirt, fashionnova.com. Link will be in the description. The price on these tee is $19.99. Very affordable. On to the next tee. All right, so next shirt we have is this. Plain white tee, all right? Basically, it has the zipper on the side. That way, it allows you to customize your, your shirt as far as how wide you want it on the sides. But I'm gonna try this shirt on, give you guys the fit, and uh, yeah. All right, so let them know how it fits. I like this shirt because of the zipper aspect. It gives you kind of that room to, uh, you know what I mean? To just spread your legs if you need to, you know what I mean? But definitely a plain white tee, essential to basically, you know what I mean? All your wardrobe. All right, so the tee, if you guys are wondering, is 60% cotton and 40% polyester. The price on this tee is the same, $19.99, very affordable. Links will be in the description. On to the next shirt. So this next shirt is very simple. I like it just because of what it says on the front, man. It says verified and multicolored. It's a plain black tee. I know I don't. I don't know, man. I just like simple kind of designs and just got a little color on it. Bam. You know what I mean? I could always work it with some shoes, some nice shoes. But this one again is 100% cotton. And uh, yeah, let's try this on. not have to sit here and try on those shirts like that. You could have easily just put it on. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing right now. Turn around, show them, show them the fit. All right, you guys, the fit. Talk about Definitely it. like the last one. Um, definitely not too long. It fits just right. I like the multicolored print right here. Definitely a nice, plain, just essential t-shirt. All right, all right, all right, all right. So this shirt right here is 100% cotton again. Price is $19.99. Very, very, very affordable. Link to this shirt will be in the description below. Hi guys, my name is Alethea. This is Gotcha Covered. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make homemade DIY fashionable face masks. Yeah, wasn't those videos fantastic? And those are some of the creative things that people are out there doing, especially the making of the mask. You know, that has been an incredible boom in the whole fashion world. And uh, when I wear my mask, I try to match my mask up with my outfit. So, uh, you know, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm anal like that also. But, you know, I guess that's just me. Now, some of the other videos I went out and found is some funny videos. Like, what's some of the funny things that people have been doing? Because, you know, we want to make sure that people have a chance to laugh and feel good and to smile and joke. So, I went out and found some videos of some funny things that people have been doing. Let's take a look. Cari fratelli, buongiorno. <laughs> Because of coronavirus, you are going to be quarantined, but you have a choice. Do you A, quarantine with your wife and child, or B, B. Well, there you go. Some of the funny, some of the funny videos that I've seen on the internet and, and live. You know, people send these videos through the phone. Uh, you see some funny things, and you know, hopefully, they bring a smile to your face, and you, we can all enjoy it. I've been showing some inspirational music videos of people on Zoom, and I have another one for you. And uh, I hope that you enjoy this one. And I will see you guys next week. I'm a young black man 
Doing all that I can to stay. Oh, but when I look around and I see what's being done to my kind every day, I'm being hard to this prey. My people don't want no trouble. We've had enough strong goal. I just want to live. God protect me. I just want to live. I just want to live.